Yo, yo, what's going on YouTube? Um, today I'm going to show you how to hyperlink an image in Pages. Now, if you've tried to hyperlink an image in Pages, you already know that it's just, it's not possible. There's no way that you can directly hyperlink an image in Pages. However, there is a workaround and I found out how to do it, so I'm going to share that with you guys today. First thing you want to do is go ahead and open up Pages. And uh, you can create a, a new blank document. I'm just going to hit enter. Okay, so now that we got our document right here, uh, I just had an image right here. I just took a little stock photo of Google. I'm going to go ahead and just drag it and drop it on, okay? Now you can adjust the size. You can hold shift and, you know, drag it out a bit. You know, it doesn't matter. I'm going to make it, and eh, we'll make it about that big. I'm just going to drag it center. I'm just going to go ahead and type some text right here. I'm just going to put, uh, uh, hey, what's up, guys? This it's a video tutorial on how to hyperlink an image in pages. All right, A, B, blow it up a little bit, whatever. Okay, so now if you click this right here and you can go to insert hyperlink, you see that you can't. There's no there's no option for you to click right there. You you know you, pages just doesn't give it to you. Um, in pages, you can only hyperlink text. So the workaround is you want to go up here to your text box, go ahead and click that. I'm going to drag this text box away it's just so we can see what we're doing. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete that right there, that text that's already in that text box. Click off it, click on it. Let's hold Shift and let's just drag it out. Okay, make it about the same size as that, same size as that Google image right here. So now, see how it fits over that? Perfect, right? So let's drag it back down. Now let's get our font size up to about 64. I like using that. And then um, make the color, we'll make it like red or something. Something that stands out to us so we know that what we're doing. So I just like using I because it takes up the whole space. But just go ahead and click I. And then it'll return. And right there. Okay, so now click off it. Drag it up over the Google. Okay. So now I, I know what you're thinking. It's, it's going to stay over that Google image and it's just going to look weird. Well, here's the trick. Go ahead and double click all that. So now that all your uh, font is uh, selected. Then on your inspector tool right here, if it's not open, go ahead and click up here. Click inspector. And then click enable as hyperlink. Now in the URL, I'm just going to go google.com. Click off onto my page. And now that's right there. So now click back on your image and if you go up here, make sure that this doesn't have any uh, any uh, any borders on it. So go ahead and click no. And then on the opacity, set that to zero. So now all that text is gone. Now click off it and if you mouse over the image, it's google.com. If we click that, there you have it, Google. So guys, um, that's pretty much it. It's, uh, it's very easy to do. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and just leave them in the, uh, the comment box below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.